We're getting really close now. It is the home stretch of the race to earn the Democratic nomination for mayor. Mayor Brandon Scott is up for a second term. In tonight's state of the city, he tried to convince you, the voter, that he should get one. WMAR 2 News Jack Watson was there tonight, and Jack, this was really kind of about his record. Well, Kelly, tonight's speech was in many ways a retrospective of the last few years in Baltimore City when the mayor took office in 2021, but it was also about those high impact issues Baltimore is still facing public safety, vacant homes, schools, and where those issues are going. There is still so much work to do, but we must acknowledge how far we've come in just a few short years. Three years in the when books, at least another to go. Taking center stage at Baltimore Center Stage, Mayor Brandon Scott talking about the pandemic his mayorship started with and the violence affecting thousands. He says his plan to prevent it, introduced in 2021, is working. We have built a plan that supports our community violence intervention ecosystem. We established a nationally recognized 911 diversion program that resolved over 600 incidents with community-based responders rather than police and expanded our victim services work. Touting the largest drop in homicides in roughly a decade and working to seize thousands of illegal guns. A handful in the crowd interrupted the mayor and security escorted them out. Others in the seats chanting, We believe in everybody's right to protest, but as we always say, uh, there's decency and order. Later in the speech, the mayor revealed he's calling for a charter amendment to raise the maximum civil penalty for illegal dumping. He also teased his upcoming budget for which he says the city was staring down a hundred million dollar deficit. But I'm proud to report that the budget we will put forward completely covers the gap without furloughing employees, without closing rec centers or fire stations, without cutting city services or turning our backs on the priorities moving Baltimore forward. Among the mayor's other points, weekly recycling returned and squeegee related incidents went down. The Baltimore mayor says his city has the eighth fastest growing economy in the country. We stabilized a city government that for nearly 15 years only knew instability and scandal. The mayor did not use the words vote or election, but this amounted to a case for your vote. Mayor Scott's best foot forward to keep the mayor in his name. Join me in this fight for the future and soul of our city and show the world how beautiful Baltimore can be. Well, on that note, Scott's challengers include former Mayor Sheila Dixon, Bob Wallace, Wendy Bozell, and Theru Vignaraja. The primary election is May 14th, Kelly.